and a lovely good evening. My name is Meghna Kaushik and thank you for joining us for this historic occasion. Well, today marks the day when a legacy of excellence in healthcare progresses into an innovative and contemporary way to deliver care. The Kim's Healthcare Group is one of Asia's leading multi-speciality healthcare networks today. Its global presence is marked by hospitals and medical centers in India, Bahrain, Oman, Saudi Arabia, UAE and Qatar. From a humble beginning with a bed capacity of about 250, well, the group has expanded to over 2,000 beds across India and the GCC region. Ladies and gentlemen, it is rightly said that change is the only constant in our lives. And innovation has been the driving force of the growth strategy of Kins. Without innovation in healthcare, well, the world history wouldn't be the same. It is a relentless commitment towards the holistic progress of mankind that leads scientists, doctors and other healthcare professionals to spend countless number of hours advancing healthcare and caring for people. Well, these extraordinary times that we live in today have shone a spotlight on the efforts of healthcare workers like never before. And once again, we are in a battle that can only be won by advancing healthcare to address the needs of today's patients. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the kind of innovation that Kim's has been synonymous with right since the inception. And at the heart of it all, it is the commitment to providing care with excellence to all its patients. Today we are celebrating a new beginning for the Kim's Healthcare Group and we are about to see the transformation of what started out as an idea of a core group of people and that grew into the legacy of Kim's Healthcare Group and now it's marching into becoming a global brand that will drive healthcare delivery into the future. So come, let's begin this beautiful evening with the words of an individual who will lead us towards this very bright future. Well, he is a healthcare pioneer and one of the founders of the Kim's Healthcare Group. He is the catalyst that drives everyone in this organization to aim higher and excel beyond their own expectations in every way possible. Ladies and gentlemen, with the warmest applause possible, please welcome Dr. M.I. Sahadullah, Group Chairman and Managing Director. Good evening. In the name of God, let me begin. I welcome you all for today's function. Two decades is a significant event in the life of any venture. So for all of us, it is a wonderful feeling to know that Kim's is approaching this momentous milestone. We all know this is a time of unprecedented crisis for the humanity, but we still have to believe in ourselves and use the occasion to renew the energy and enthusiasm within the organization. We realize that the rebranding of Kim's would be the best way to announce our intention to the world. I'm happy and honored to present a new global brand identity for Kim's in front of such a distinguished audience. Please allow me a few moments to take you down the memory lane and share with you a few aspects of Kim's story, a story in which many of you have played a significant role. It all began with the gem of an idea in the minds of a small team of family and friends. Dr. G. Vijay Rakhavan, Mr. E. M. Najib, Mr. E. Iqbal, and Dr. P. M. Zohar. The aspiration was to establish a modern healthcare organization based on 
international best practices and quality standards. It was also cemented by the memory of my late father, who could have, according to me, received a better care during the last, during his last illness. At a time, the private healthcare was in its infancy in Kerala. In pursuit of resounding value system, focused on ethics and evidence-based medicine, we embarked on the journey. We had to face many insurmountable hardships and extreme obstacles. But our sacrifices were supported by the commitment and dedication of our staff, our shareholders, stakeholders, and with the encouragements of thousands of our well-wishers, we steadily grew over the years. We are now present in six countries with 800 doctors and 6,000 staff members and millions of guests who trust us. Our flagship hospital at Tirunthapuram has grown steadily from 250 beds and with the completion of Kim's East, which is going to open in August, the hospital will have 900 beds. And this will take Kim's, the total number of beds to 2,000 across GCC and India. Kim's East is meant to be an outstanding healthcare facility with the most modern operation theaters, robotic surgery unit, separate rooms of ICU of international standard, and the transplant program for kidney, liver, pancreas, heart, and lungs. It will be also a center of excellence for wellness, high-risk obstetrics, advanced perinatology, and neonatology. At this juncture, I am proud to present our new brand identity, Kim's Health. Kim's Health is contemporary while drawing on our legacy. It embodies transformation, innovation, success, and a brighter tomorrow. It offers outstanding healthcare delivery underpinned by cutting edge technology, digitalization, and unparalleled competence. Let me conclude with the promise that Kim's Health will always strive towards our vision. To be a leading healthcare organization of excellence that transforms lives through exceptional care. Thank you. Have a good evening. Well, thank you so much, sir, for that warmest welcome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after months of assessing the organization's values and the role it plays in patients' lives, along with carefully contemplating the perfect visual and verbal translation of the renewed brand promise, Kim's is now all set to embrace its new brand identity. An identity that will encompass a holistic commitment to the well-being and progress of people. Ladies and gentlemen, please gear up to witness the dawn of a new era of healthcare. We all want to explore beautiful places. 
to share more meaningful moments together. To make memories that never fade. We all want to pause sometimes, instead of always rushing towards the future, to embrace the little things and to take center stage at least once in a while. Over the past two decades, we've been empowering you to do all of this and more. As a leading international healthcare provider, Kim's has always had one simple mission. To provide world-class care with courtesy, compassion and competence be it in our primary care centers or in our unparalleled centers of excellence. We will be there to take care of all your health care needs. From something as simple as a sprained wrist to something as complex as an organ transplant, We're proving that nothing is too big or too small when it comes to your well-being. Since our earliest beginnings in Kerala, your trust has helped us grow in India and beyond. We now span all the way across the Arabian Peninsula and can be found everywhere you are. Improving the health of communities and the world, one precious life at a time. From clinical care to medical education and research. We're setting the new standard of excellence while creating a healthier and happier world for tomorrow. By using innovative techniques and cutting-edge technology to achieve the best clinical outcomes for you and your family. Each and every day becomes a day to celebrate, a day to cherish, a day where life-changing care is available when you need it, wherever you need it. With over 20 facilities around the globe, we've touched over 40 million lives and made the world's best healthcare more accessible than ever so that no matter where you are today, tomorrow, or in the future, we're always there to help. A healthier world starts right here. Welcome to the new Kim's Health. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, put your hands together. Well, the idea of clapping not only, you know, regulates the blood flow across your body, but helps you feeling really, really good. Come on. We deserve a big round of applause because we are presenting you with the brand new identity, which is Kim's Health. That's right. Well, in this historic moment, it's time for us to now hear from an individual who is the torch bearer for the group's principles and whose passion for innovation is absolutely unmatched. Well, his global leadership experience is the driving force to take Kim's health to the next level. Ladies and gentlemen, please, once again, put your hands together and let's welcome Group Chief Executive Officer of Kim's Health, Dr. Sheriff Sahadullah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new Kim's Health. I'm Dr. Sharif Sahadullah, and as a Group CEO, it's a pleasure for me to be here, at least virtually, to share my thoughts about the future of Kim's Health and how we can serve your healthcare needs better. Over the last year, we've been on a journey of transformation. How we can transform lives, 
as in our new vision statement, and how we can transform ourselves. We wanted a new contemporary name and look. However, it was important for us to stay true to our origins. I believe our new name, Kim's Health, captures just that. From our origins as a single hospital, the Kerala Institute of Medical Sciences, better known as Kim's, to the Kim's Healthcare Group, and now to Kim's Health. Dr. Sahadula, our chairman, spoke about our new mission statement. And although it is a new mission statement, it still encapsulates the foundation of our core beliefs from when we first started, which is to provide care with courtesy, compassion, and competence. As we designed a new logo, it was essential for us to create one that represents us and our values. Each arrow in the new logo represents one of our core values. The eight arrows are directed towards the center because at the center of all that we do is our patients. Our core values are compassion, affordability, ethics, quality, excellence, transparency, innovation, and trust. The inner star that's formed by the eight arrows represents the quality and excellence of the service we provide. The red symbolizes our strength and determination and passion. All of these elements reflect our commitment to continuously innovate and evolve to serve you better. Dr. Sahadullah outlined our growth over the last two decades. And while we celebrate our growth with you, we're giving a clear direction to the future of our brand and continue to build on our ethos of excellence in the care we provide. As healthcare changes, our patients are also changing. And therefore, we're focusing on enhancing the patient experience. As we enter this new era of healthcare delivery, I'm happy to announce some of the new offerings from Kim's Health. We've given our website a facelift, and we'll be relaunching it as kimshealthcare.com. We've developed this website, keeping our patient in mind, and have provided a user-friendly experience with simplified navigation and search options for services across our healthcare system in India and the Middle East. Within our website, we've implemented a virtual health assistant to help you with all the information you require about our services. The health assistant comes with a variety of features, from checking your symptoms to helping you find the right doctor for your treatment and assisting you in making an appointment. We've also been a strong proponent of technology and medicine. And along these lines, we're delighted to reveal a new functional Kim's Health mobile app. A few of the features of the new app will include some of the functions that you would typically expect within an app, such as an online appointment, booking options, payment options. You'll also be able to access your medical reports and to do teleconsultations within the app. We hope to make your experience better and faster by introducing geofencing, which will allow the hospital system to detect when you've arrived at the hospital and automatically pre-register you for your scheduled appointment. To thank our patients for the trust they've placed in us over the past two decades, we're also very excited to announce our new loyalty program. This loyalty program will function as a points reward system. For every rupee or dinar you spend, you'll get a point value, which can be redeemed for services. This loyalty program will be implemented across our network. You'll be able to earn points anywhere in our healthcare system and redeem these points at any one of our facilities, either in India or the Middle East. 
As part of the Kim's Health Growth Strategy, we will soon be opening several new facilities. Dr. Sahadullah already mentioned the launch of Kim's East in India. Another new venture is one that we're especially proud of, Kim's Bahrain Hospital. This hospital was intended as an affordable care hospital. However, the need of the hour was a private hospital that could care for corona patients. Our hospital became the first private hospital in Bahrain to take care of COVID positive patients. I'd like to thank all healthcare workers who have been on the front lines fighting the coronavirus. And a special thanks to the entire Kim's Health team who have made this project possible. These are just a few of the initiatives you can expect to see from us. Expect many more new things from the new Kim's Health. I want to thank all of you for your continued support through our healthcare journey. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for heralding the dawn of the new era of Kim's Health. We are all very, very eager to watch this beautiful new journey unfold in myriad ways. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we shall now be joined by some of the foremost members of Kim's Health's board of directors. First and foremost, healthcare that's ahead of its time requires an intuitive set of professionals with the caliber to do the unthinkable. With the state-of-the-art educational material, Kim's Academics is on its way to honing the pioneers of tomorrow's healthcare. The first address shall be delivered by Padmashri Professor Dr. G. Vijay Raghavan, who is the Vice Chairman and Director of Medical Services. I am Dr. Vijay Raghavan, Vice Chairman and Dean of Postgraduate Medical Education at the Kerala Institute of Medical Sciences. I am very happy to state that the academic activities of the Kerala Institute of Medical Sciences started with a really good omen. We started the institute with an American Heart Association certified BLS and ACLS provider course. We continue to train medical and paramedical personnel in ACLS and in 10 years time we became an international training center for pediatric and adult basic and advanced cardiovascular life support provider and instructor course. Thanks to our chairman, Dr. Sadullah, we now own one of the best skills and simulation laboratories in the country to train medical graduates and ancillary staff. And this came in handy during the current COVID-19 pandemic. In 2002, we could attract to our faculty former director of medical education, for former principals, and 24 department heads from various colleges. Normally, the National Board of Examinations accepts application for diploma in National Board after three years of good standing in the country. Our faculty gave us confidence to apply for National Board in 2003. Seeing our faculty strength, they inspected the institute, and we were accredited to start postgraduate doctoral postdoctoral course in cardiology and radiology. Today, we admit 170 students every year to 12 broad specialties and nine super specialties, 21 specialty departments running postgraduate programs. Students who graduate from our center have an all India first rank with gold medals in cardiology, orthopedics, obstetrics and gynecology and ENT. They won international national research scholarships, fellowships and many other laurels. Sent person pass has been achieved in many departments like neonatology, nephrology, surgical gastroenterology, pediatrics, family medicine, obstetrics and gynecology, and respiratory medicine. We have an important place in the organization of AMBAI, which advises the National Board and is represented by our Vice Dean, Professor Safiya. We established international academic co cooperation with Irkutsk State Medical University, Russia, for conducting PhD course in cardiology. And one person has already taken PhD in cardiology. And Upstate University in USA for running specialty training in emergency medicine. We also offer various fellowship programs in neonatology under the aegis of Indian Academy of Pediatrics and Neonatal National Forum. Kims is also one of the few private hospitals to offer 
house surgency training in four specialities. We started a nursing school first, then developed it into a nursing college with graduate course and later started conducting MSc nursing in four specialities. Now, we have a full-fledged standalone nursing institute recognized by the Indian and state nursing councils. We are also accredited to the Directorate of Medical Education in the state to conduct its diploma courses in the field of paramedical sciences, operation theater, dialysis technology, neurotechnology, etc. To address the existing gap of skilled hands in the healthcare industry, the academic wing has initiated Kim's Institute of Skill Acquisition for transforming the institute as a hub of skilled manpower. Our chairman, Dr. Saudala, was very keen on having a well-equipped library, and thanks to him, today we have a library with more than 4,500 medical books, many international and national journals. In addition, we have online databases such as UpToDate, Clinical Key, and Ovid, and it's open till 10 p.m. every day. We registered the Society for Continuing Medical Education and Research we have back in 2004 for facilitating the academic and research activities. Vice Dean Professor Safia, Professor A. Joseph, and Dr. M. T. Manoch extend full support for residents and consultants in all their academic and research activities. This society supports all departments to hold institutional, state, regional, and national conferences throughout the year. When we look at the last year's track record, we have conducted two international, six national, and two state conferences, 78 internal CME programs, and 13 courses of American Heart Association. With a good number of senior faculty and bright young postgraduate students, we could establish a research center. Last year, we published 43 articles in peer-reviewed journals and other chapters in four medical textbooks. We have a quarterly scientific magazine published publishing our rare achievements in medical science and the faculty is encouraged to write review articles. We published a handbook for the postgraduate students in 2018. From 2017, SOCOP started publishing its annual report as a reference book for important educational institutions. Soon, we will be publishing our collector papers every year for the scientific community. Looking back at the achievements of Kim's health, one can feel proud of the progress in the academic field that we have made. I am proud to say today, we are the largest private medical postgraduate training and research institute in this country. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. May Kim's academics flourish as a center for medical excellence. Moving forward, ladies and gentlemen, community development and social outreach are intrinsic aspects of mankind's holistic progress. And Kim's Health aims to propel a new wave of change for many, many communities. Our next speaker today is a charismatic business leader who has been instrumental in the growth of Kim's Health in India. He has always given his unwavering support to the charitable initiatives and social welfare of the community. We shall now be joined by Mr. E. M. Najib, the Group Executive Director and Chairman of the ATE Group of Companies. Respected dignitaries, invitees and friends, I have great pleasure to welcome all of you to this Kim's Health Brand Identity Launch. I am E.M. Najib, Group Executive Director at Kim's Health, and I'll be reflecting on the pioneering role of Kim's in spreading wellness and creating healthier communities. For the last 18 years, Kim's has dedicated itself to efficiently serve the communities with compassion and courtesy at affordable cost through awareness campaigns and sharing knowledge and engagement. Our robust corporate social responsibility that is called CSR program has established a variety of foundations in India and in the GCC region and has been providing free and subsidized care for the needy. Some of our successful foundations in India include Hridayas Pandanam, Guru Vandanam, Spine Foundation, 
Dialysis Foundation, Kim's Charitable Trust, Touch a Life Foundation, Liver Foundation, and Voice Foundation. In the GCC region, we have aligned with the royal charity organizations to provide free care to widows and orphans, in addition to working with numerous government organizations, corporate and community associations, and multiple initiatives. Kim's Jaipur Food Center is another successful example of our CSR activity. It's a first of its kind joint charitable venture with Bhagavan Mahavir Sahayada Samadhi, that is called BMVSS in Kerala to donate limbs, calipers, and aids and appliances to many people free of cost. We have kept an open door policy and welcome anyone with disability without any discrimination, cutting across geographical, social, religious, and gender bias. Our patients have found solace and trust in getting themselves treated and have thus laid the critical ground in building up our brand, Kim's. I am more than happy to share that Kim's network is ever expanding and we are currently serving more than 300 diverse communities globally. It's my great honor and privilege to present our brand transformation from Kim's to Kim's Health which in fact is our embracement to modernity and evolution in healthcare. Patients have always been central to our operations and we devote our growth to them as they provide us with the inspiration and consistency to introduce new solutions and excel in our services within an ethical and transparent framework. Kim Self will provide us with new opportunities to redefine our healthcare delivery model and enhance our patient experience quotient further. Through Kim's Health, we have found our true voice and are looking forward to connecting with the hearts of thousands of people by adding value and meaning to impact lives. As we look forward to a new future, one thing that you will always find in Kim's Health is one brand and one experience. Thank you so much, sir. Your approach towards CSR is deeply inspiring. Well, Kim's renowned global presence is a result of an unwavering pursuit of care that meets universal standards while being affordable. Mr. Ahmed Jawari, chairman of Kim's Bahrain Medical Center and president of Royal Bahrain Hospital, shall now speak about the group's growing international presence and the implications of the new brand identity in this regard. Greetings from the Kingdom of Bahrain's Kems Health Headquarters in the Middle East. As the Chairman of Kems Bahrain Medical Center and the President of Royal Bahrain Hospital, I am happy to announce the launch of Kems' new brand identity since 2004, KEMS has been a shining example of perfect synergy of the first Indo-Bahraini investment in the private healthcare space in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the rest of the Middle East. From our beginning in Omal Hassam with KEMS Bahrain Medical Center, KEMS has grown today into a healthcare conglomerate with three hospitals and 12 medical centers in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the other GCC countries. Today, KEMS forms an essential part of the social fabric of the countries that we operate in and our institution has found wide acceptance and recognition among the nationals and expatriates. At KIMS, we are committed to excellence, expertise, quality, accessibility, and affordability. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce to you our new identity. Kim's Health. Kim's Health is a truly well thought over brand progression that is aimed at bringing in further integ integration of our principles and values. More than the brand identity, Kim's Health also stands to strengthen our expanding network and meet the expectation 
and needs of our patients with a cohesive response. As well, we move into a new era of global healthcare. KEMS is ready to provide one brand, one experience. Well, you've given us a lot to ponder on. Thank you so much, sir. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen. Getting to know everything about the all-new Kim's Health has been an enriching experience. And I'm sure we are all in awe of the group's renewed purpose and commitment. The work done is deeply inspiring. And there's a whole new healthcare revolution in the making. So now I would like to call upon Dr. P.N. Zuhara, Director at Kim's Health, to deliver a vote of thanks. Good evening to you all. It has been my privilege and pleasure to be part of this journey for the last two decades. Today, the legacy continues with a new name, Kim's Health, and a new logo for standardizing the care for India and outside. We reached here only with the unstinted support from all of you. We are now continuing the journey with renewed energy and enthusiasm. We were not infallible, but you always corrected us and helped us to go forward. In the future also, we are sure of the support of every one of you, the faculty of KIMS, the stakeholders, the shareholders, the directors, our partner, True North, well-wishers, friends, and families. All of you will correct us and will give us more support than ever so that this journey and legacy will continue. I take this opportunity to thank all the promoters and each one of you who had been great partners in the journey. May peace be with you all. All right, that was a grand, beautiful launch. Now moving towards something very special. Well, the leaders and members of the board shall now engage in a short Q&A session where they shall help us gain more insight and understand better the various aspects of the new Kim's Health brand identity. And our first guest that I would like to begin with is Dr. M.I. Sahadullah. Well, thank you so much, sir, for joining us. My first question to you is, how do you envision Kim's health in the next five years, considering the international sped of your institution? Yeah, I think it is um, interesting. We have to look at the post-COVID scenario because the COVID may continue with us for some time. Among the industries, healthcare will be the one which is going to recover faster. So Kim's health will be dedicated not only in giving the healthcare delivery, but also in developing human resources and talent. We also intend to spread uh, to various other areas of Middle East, Africa, and India. Absolutely. And um, how are you planning to leverage the rebranding exercise to reposition Kim's into the healthcare sector, especially considering the ongoing situation due to COVID-19? Yeah. Again, we are coming to the crisis situation and the post-crisis recovery. It is important that uh, Kim's Health should look at various options. Decentralized care will be an important aspect because people would like to go to a nearby center rather than going to a hospital and waiting for it. But at the same time, as an organization, Kim's Health should give a comprehensive care. So decentralized care, preventive care, wellness, and a comprehensive care at the hospital so that your customers can choose where you want to go depending on their requirement. And this customer-focused care or patient-centric requirements should be taken care of. Well, that's, I think, so well said. Um, 
The next question, what role will brand Kim's Health play in redefining healthcare internationally? Yeah, this new brand, what we intend to gain from the, uh, the new branding it will be, um, we want to focus on our cost effective and uh, high quality care. So that is the delivery part. Internally, we are infusing a lot of energy and enthusiasm into our staff. And also we want to, we want to uphold the, we want to uphold the, the, the cardinal principles that is the ethics and patient safety. And that is the way Kim, Kim's health should be known to the public across the countries. Well, thank you so much, sir, for sharing your thoughts and perspectives with us. The future definitely looks amazing for Kim's health. Moving on now, I would like to call upon Dr. Sheriff Sahadullah. Thank you, sir, for joining us. My first question to you is, what expectations can the patients have from rebranding of Kim's to Kim's Health? Thank you for that question. Over the last two decades, we've listened to you and what your health care needs are. And we've tried to evolve to meet these health care needs. Our goal as Kim's Health is to become an even more patient-centric organization. What this pandemic has shown us is that we need to be able to deliver health care to you, to where you are, to the communities in which you live. And that's our goal over the next several years. Well, um, you know, the second question is actually quite similar. How different is Brand Kim's Health from the erstwhile Kim's? Brand Kim's Health is a new contemporary way to look at healthcare. We plan to implement technology, digitalization to make healthcare delivery faster, more efficient, and a better experience for you, our patient. Well, thank you so much for helping us understand the brand new identity a lot better. We now look forward to the new offerings from the group. Thank you. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, we now have with us Mr. E. M. Najib. Thank you for joining us, sir. Well, my first question to you is, how do you intend to permeate the new vision behind Kim's Health into the community? Our new vision is to be a leading healthcare organization of excellence. That transforms life through exceptional care. Kim's Health will continue its stride to excellence by touching the lives of people across all segments of the society by providing affordable and quality health care we will ensure that our values become benchmarks in the future for health care delivery by reaching out to the people and transforming life we will continue our legacy and our vision will in its natural way reach the community at large well um, my second question are you planning to scale up your CSR activities post rebranding? And if so, then what would those be? Definitely. One of the main focus of Kim's Health CSR would be initiating the availability of bionic arm through Kim's Health Inali limbs. These are myoelectric hand processes. They are battery operated artificial limbs for amputees, which would cost around six to eight lakhs in the market and Kim's is making them available from 25,000 to one lakh. We are introducing 3D printing technology in hand processes for the first time in South India. Along with this, the, all the other CSR initiatives will definitely continue. Wow, thank you so much for taking us through those translation of Kim's health vision at a community level and also helping us understand the causes associated with the group. Thank you so much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, moving forward, now I would like to call upon Dr. Vijay Raghwan to share his views and plans from the academic perspective. A warm welcome, sir. Well, my first question to you is, what are the new goals set up by Kim's academics post rebranding? And do you plan to provide any more internationally affiliated courses? Definitely, we are looking towards it. See, we already have a very good relationship with Royal College of Physicians. And we run Excel Paces, and it's very popular in India. And 
many other universities we have been talking to to develop more affiliations and more research programs. Wow. Moving on to the next question, uh, can you also highlight on how Kim's Academics is using technology to enhance the learning experience for the students? The, over the last few years, we have moved over to a lot of e-learning. And that's why we have so much of e-learning facility in the hospital, in the library, as well as with a lot of portals available in the main, main intensive care units. There's a lot of interaction in patient care where e-learning is utilized and we are going to enhance it to a large extent so that students go up to, up, up to, uh, to go, students maintain up-to-date information. Not only that, staff also gains an upper hand over students in gaining more up-to-date information and patient care management. This is what came in very handy in the current COVID pandemic. Well, thank you so much, sir. It's amazing to know that Kim's Academics is on its way towards revolutionizing healthcare studies. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, now I would like to call upon Mr. Ahmed Zawiri, who shall help us understand the group's global plans. A warm welcome, sir. My first question to you is, could you highlight the importance of Indo-Bahraini investment partnership of Kim's? It's important to note that KIMS is the first Indo-Bahraini partnership in private healthcare space in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Our consistent commitment to provide quality medical services and dedication of our expert medical and non-medical staff has allowed us to grow beyond the Kingdom of Bahrain successfully. Our 15 centers in the GCC region are a symbol of our growth and appreciation that we have received from our patients. Absolutely. And moving on to the next question, how does Kim's Health plan to expand in the GCC region? Kim's Health already has established in the Kingdom of Bahrain, in Oman, Saudi Arabia, UAE, and Qatar. Our plan is to expand our network further in these countries with an objective of bringing our medical expertise services close to the people. In 2020 alone, we have already launched Kim's Bahrain Medical Center, in Muharraq and Askar, and one more RBH Medical Center will soon be operational in Bahrain, beside opening a new hospital, Kim's Bahrain Hospital. Similarly, we are in process of increasing our market penetration in various GCC countries through our new centers. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing with all of us your plans. We hope to see the Kim's Health global footprint grow by leaps and bounds in the years to come. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on that solemn note, we have now arrived at the end of this beautiful grand event and beginning of a new chapter for Kim's Health. One brand, one experience. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining us today to unravel this new brand identity that instills hope, optimism and strengthened trust in all of us. Together with Kim's Health, may we all thrive with innovation and bear witness to the marvels that medical advancement brings into our lives. I'm honoured to be a part of this milestone and it was an absolute pleasure to be your host today. This is Meghna Kaushik signing off. Thank you. Goodbye.